The whole show came together as this artist is social critic. And so there's a, a strong group of artists whose work addresses issues of politics, religion, racism, very pertinent and timely issues. These aren't issues uh, only in the United States. We have a wonderful collection of art from China, Africa, South America, Israel, the Middle East, and we live in a global community, so what happens in, in China affects us economically, politically, socially. So it seemed very timely that we consider um, art from around the world that deals with uh, civic justice. I've actually been dreaming of showing this one group of photographs by Zhang Wan from the moment we renovated this building. They're large-scale photographs and he of just a close-up of his face. And he invited friends to write in calligraphy in Chinese characters a fable, a Chinese fable of the story of a man wanting to move a mountain. And it's, it's really a tale of perseverance and will. Um, but they start with his blank face. And by the end, the ninth photograph, he is shiny, inked out, black. What artists do that's so remarkable is they don't answer all the questions, they really just pose the questions. So all of these works are layered in meaning and can, we can you know, write PhDs on almost each one of these artists. So Hank Willis Thomas is one of the most powerful artists working today. His work is smart on lots of layers. Um, this piece is titled Strange Fruit. So Strange Fruit is the title of a song Billie Holiday sang. Um, and if you listen to the song, it's very sad, but it describes what kind of things hang from trees in the South. Blood on the leaves And blood at the root Black bodies swinging in the southern breeze Strange fruit hanging From the poplar trees So Jeff Sonhaus is just an amazing painter. It's a double version of an African-American with the brilliant afro made of matchsticks. So he actually put the painting together and lit them on fire and you see the smoke above his head as a remnant of that setting up, which is so bold and brazen. The textile piece in our room of artists from Africa is by El Anatsui. He is from Ghana originally and lives and works in Nigeria. He weaves together um, caps from alcohol um, bottles that are not only just litter on the street um, that they collect and recycle, but also represent some of the elements that were brought in through colonialism. So the, the Brits brought in the alcohol and the legacy of that social impact in the community there. So it, it says a lot, but it also looks at the tradition of African textiles. Uh, it looks at abstract painting. It does so much more than one thing, but it's a remarkable and beautiful work. What this exhibition does so beautifully is it shows how many interesting and important voices there are in the world of people from all different backgrounds, all different colors, all different socioeconomic positions. Um, and there is not just one way to interpret and understand the world.